There hasn't been a repeat champion in Conference USA since Louisville in 2000 2001. And it won't be an easy task for Houston after losing four year starter quarterback Kevin Cobb to the NFL, along with Houston all time leading receiver Vincent Marshall. The offensive minded Cougars will rely heavily on quick six running back Anthony Aldridge, who led the nation averaging 10.1 yards per carry last season. Speaking of Louisville, that's where former Tulsa head coach Steve Crackthorpe landed in the offseason, just one of many Golden Hurricane departures. But all-conference quarterback Paul Smith returns for his senior year, along with the leaders of the league's top defense, linebackers Nelson Coleman and Chris Chamberlain. A pair of CUSA West teams, SMU and Rice, are coming off their best seasons in a long time. The Mustangs completed their first non-losing season since 1997, while the Owls reached their first bowl game in 45 years. Keep an eye out for SMU quarterback Justin Willis, who rewrote the team record books in 2006, earning CUSA Freshman of the Year honors. The best player in college you've never heard of is likely Rice Jr. wide receiver Jarrett Dillard, who led the nation with 21 touchdown catches and has a TD catch in 15 straight games entering the season. Just three shy of Larry Fitzgerald NCAA record. Two teams in need of a fresh start are UTEP and Tulane. After an inconsistent season for the Miners, school record holders Jordan Palmer and Johnny Lee Higgins have departed. Though many fresh faces line up on both sides of the ball, they might have the league's top playmaker on defense, safety Quentin Dempse. Tulane will look to make some waves in the new head coach Bob Toledo. Senior running back Matt Forte and a defense that returns eight starters hope to carry the green wave to their first winning season in five years. The number 13 is considered unlucky, but not for Southern Miss. That's the amount of consecutive winning seasons for the CUSA East Division favorites. A second half surge last year behind freshman rushing sensation Damian Fletcher carried the Golden Eagles to their third straight bowl win. But this year's team will be defined by a defense that returns eight starters from a unit that led the league in points allowed the past two seasons. The best football team in the Carolinas? Forget his daddy's old school. Skip Holtz thinks it just might be his East Carolina Pirates, who returned nearly three-fourths of their letterman from last season's bowl team. The deepest linebacker core in Holtz's three-year tenure will lead his Pirates into some daunting waters early as they open the season at a very emotional Lane Stadium in Virginia Tech. In 2005, George O'Leary took UCF from 0-11 to 8-5 in the school's first bowl appearance. This season, he takes them somewhere else they've never played, the UCF campus. The Golden Knights open a brand new stadium on September 15th versus Texas, called the house that Kevin Smith built. The all-conference junior running back has rushed for nearly 2,100 yards in his first two seasons, best in school history. Marshall has delivered some big names to the NFL in recent years, and perhaps next on that list is Albert McClellan. The reigning CUSA Defensive Player of the Year led the league with 11 sacks and 19 tackles for a loss. At an offense that returns eight starters and head coach Mark Snyder likes his team's chances of competing for the Eastern Division crown. The post D'Angelo Williams era got off to a shaky start in Memphis a year ago as the Tigers struggled for a 1-7 conference season. But Tommy West loves what he sees from his line play on both sides of the ball this preseason and will look to Joey Doss to energize the offense. How do you follow a 3-9 campaign in which you lost seven starters on each side of the ball? For new UAB head coach Neil Calloway, you get physical. His Blazers better do just that from the get-go as they open with back-to-back -back road contests at Michigan State and Florida State. 